we are gonna see if we can fool Tesla's full self-driving software. This was an article that surfaced in 2020 regarding speed limit signs. You can see this is a normal 35 mile per hour speed limit sign. There was something that a test that was done by McAfee where they applied some electrical tape to extend the three to make it a little bit longer. And what ended up happening, this was back in uh, 2020 on a 2016 Model X using Mobileye's version of the self-driving. It's been a long time. I don't know anybody that's tested it since then. Right now, I'm on hardware three. I'm driving my Model 3. It's a 2019 Model 3. And this is Tesla's own computer. So they went from Mobileye, which was an Israeli company, to using NVIDIA for their self-driving. And now it's Tesla's own hardware. So they are on hardware four now, but this hardware three is by far the most prevalent hardware on the roads today on all the Model 3s and all the Model Ys. Now, if you were to get a, a 2023, I believe, or, or later Model Y, I think it was around summer of 2023 is when they first started launching Hardware 4, you would have the latest hardware. Apparently, all you need is some electrical tape. So I brought some electrical tape. We're going to try to set this up. But before we do this test, I'm just going to confirm how it operates without it. Because with, with version 12.3 of self-driving, which just came out a week ago, there's a new setting called the automatic set speed offset. So I thought I'd show you that here in the autopilot menu. You can see I have that turned on right now. And if we go in to look at the information, it says the automatic set speed offset allows autopilot to drive at the speed that it determines is most natural. This considers factors like road type, traffic flow, environmental conditions, speed limit, and the selected full self-driving beta profile setting, which is chill, average, or assertive. Today's tests will all be with the assertive setting. Okay, so this is before it recognizes the speed limit. I do have the automatic set speed offset turned on. So from here, I'm gonna turn on self-driving. Right there, it is on and it should be going. Okay, there we go, it starts to take off. And just so everybody's aware, I'm not doing anything. My car is driving itself. The steering wheel is moving all on its own. I'm not stepping on the accelerator. I'm not stepping on the brake. Here you can see the 35 mile per hour sign. And you can see it show up there on the screen. It says speed limit. It's showing the speed limit sign and it's automatically setting the max speed. So it's going 39 miles per hour here. Okay, so if I come in here, I'm gonna turn off the automatic set speed offset. Now you can see we get a couple extra options. I take it back, I have it set to 13%. So 13% should put me right at, I don't have another, I don't have a calculator with me, but it should put me right around 39 miles per hour. So let's see how this performs. So it's actually going to 40 miles per hour max with this setting. So hopefully it'll speed up here in a second. Taking its time to speed up. Okay, there we go. So you're gonna see it registers the sign here on the right. There it is, 35 miles per hour. And now it speeds up real nicely. It's going 40 miles per hour max. I'm very curious. So I turned the automatic speed offset setting back on again. You can see in the menu here. Automatic set speed offset is on. Let's go ahead and turn around. We'll do a three point turn. Okay, and we're on. Okay, taking a little while to take off here. There we go. Max, it says speed limit 35. Here's that sign. Let's see how it registers it. Registers as 35. 35 miles per hour. That's great, great news. So we'll go into the menu here and we will turn off the automatic set speed offset and we'll test it out again. Here we go. Okay, notice it's 35 miles per hour, going 40 miles per hour just as before. And coming up, here's the sign. registers as 35 miles per hour. Now, sometimes because it registered previously, it was 35 miles per hour before I put the tape on, sometimes it, it has a memory of that 
and it may take a couple times. Let's see, we'll do it a, a, maybe one or two more times. I'll test it again with the automatic speed offset and then another time without it and we'll just see what happens. All right, going back into the menus, we're gonna turn it back on again, say yes. It saved the setting, go ahead and put it in drive. Okay, full self-driving is enabled. So this is different from autopilot, just so everybody's aware, this is the full self-driving software, which is a subscription only software, or you can purchase it for $12,000. If you do decide to subscribe to it, it's, here we are, 35 miles per hour. If you do decide to subscribe to it, it's $200 a month. But this software will drive itself on city streets. It will stop at stop lights. It will stop at stop signs. And the last time, just for good measure, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the offset. And here's our sign. Now to the human eye, it does not look unusual at all. And it looks like it's not deceiving the computer either. So that is old news, definitely not an issue anymore in 2024. We can put that one to rest. Thanks so much everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you like my channel, subscribe, please. It goes a long way. Hit the like button, leave a comment below. See you in the next one.